Yeah, so Bill Maher was on Jimmy Kimmel, and uh, he actually went off on the liberal media. I, I found it interesting they call it the liberal media, first of all, just because I've always felt like that's kind of a thing that the media have said that make people who criticize them to look like kooks. And I don't really necessarily think it's the liberal media at this point. It's pretty clearly the Democrat state media. But Bill Maher's always been behind us all on this point. Uh, he's just catching up to us. <laughs> And he's it's still kind of behind the times, you can tell, just by the fact he says liberal media. But he actually went off on him, on Jimmy Kimmel. So I just want to, I want you guys to hear this. Tell, tell me what you think. I have to cite a, a survey that was in the New York Times, which is a liberal paper, so they weren't looking for this answer. But they were talking about, uh, this, the question was, what do you think the chances are that you would have to go to the hospital if you got COVID? Mm -hmm. And Democrats thought that was way higher than Republicans. 41% of Democrats, and the answer is between 1 and 5%. Okay. 41% of Democrats thought it was over 50%. Another 28% thought it was 20 to 49%. So 70% of Democrats thought it was way, way, way higher than it really was. Hey, Liberal you. media Perfect. has to take a little responsibility for that, for scaring the shit out of people. <laughs> yes. And the reason why I'm bringing yes. this up is uh -huh. because... Hold on, real quick. I just want to stop because... Uh, the observation that uh, Bill Bill Maher made here, he uh, talked about. Can you got everybody can hear me, right? I just want to make sure. Uh, here. He made the observation that he was talking about what he read about that Democrats believe there was way more, uh, you know, chance. You had a way bigger chance of dying than you actually did. It's between one and five, but Democrats thought it was between fifty and seventy percent. And I thought that was really interesting. And they didn't bring it up here, but if you, and I just talked about this, I think in a, my last video or a couple videos ago, that uh, Democrats, when polled, think that there are way more black people, unarmed black people, shot by cops than there are uh, every year. Uh, in truth, there's around it's double digits. Although I think this year it's actually a little bit higher for some reason. And we could delve into all that because unarmed doesn't necessarily mean that. But anyway, um, the actual number that Democrats thought it was was in the thousands. They thought like thousands of unarmed black people were being shot every year. And so that tells you that you know the the media is really messing with people's minds here. And Bill Maher is actually calling it out. How crazy is that? Is this? Is he talking about COVID right now? I thought he was talking about police shootings. Me? Oh, and this, yeah, no, is, no, no, is he talking, this, about, he's talking COVID? about COVID? Yeah, I brought up police shootings because it's a correlation there. Like, it's the same thing with police shootings. Like, in the case of COVID, they think you have a way higher chance of dying. In the case of police shootings, they think way more unarmed people are being shot by cops than, than are in reality. Like, ridiculously more. Like, it's a really ridiculous uh, difference. Something is definitely going on because 2017, Pew did a study, and they found out that while conservatives had moved slightly to the right, the Democrat Party had basically split into two camps. One side had gone far, far left, and the other was kind of, you know, skewing left of center, uh, more left of center than they had been. And it was a huge change over 10 and 20 years ago. Uh, it was a 2017 study, and it was graphical, so it's very easy to show. Um, and when you try to explain this, sometimes you you go you you could be a centrist, and you could be trying to explain this to a, a Democratic voter, and they're thinking you're practically alt right. And this that phenomenon started happening not that long after Trump got in the office, and it's clear that really realistically, only the media has the power to to cause these kinds of skews. So it's not really surprising to see. These statistics, people, people having um, huge uh, differences. My, my question was, why do Democrats have this insanely, like, hyped up, uh, fear mongered perception of things that are happening that aren't? Well, there, there's and, a. I, Bill I mean, Maher is coming I, out now. The, the answer to that question is that it's just a problem with um, cable news. Oh. Uh, like, like, yes. like I said on Twitter earlier, cable news. I agree. And it, this happens on both left and right. Um, is way is more on the left. Way very. Uh, I'm I, I mean, right wait, I, I, I can I can I can give you Twitter, lots right? of examples of right wing right. people having right. skewed um skewed perceptions of reality. Right. Um. So like, but I don't know. Right. Let, like, let me just throw out here that 
the left wing is per, they are the the left wing media which is pretty much all the media outside of Fox News and Newsmax right. and I would even put Fox News separate from Newsmax and that shit cuz that's it gets a little crazier on that side but um I'm not that I'm against them because some of the stuff Newsmax does I like, but um, it's a matter of scale, right? I, I'm just saying, like, there's way more on the left, like, and it's considered mainstream. Like, th that's the problem, right? Because it, it's, it's portrayed as if it's like mainstream fact finding, democracy defending, hard hitting news, right? I yeah, would I even add, I would wait, add. Wait, wait, wait. To when a news organization is covering a story 24 hours a day, it makes it seem way more sensationalized than it actually Correct. has to be. So even if yeah. you're covering nothing but facts, the fact that it's on news all day and that and a lot of people who watch these stations, that's what they're watching all day. It, 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 it makes it like seem way worse than it actually is. But you're saying that, but also CBS was caught uh, staging cars going to hospitals and um... – acting like it, the, the epidemic was so bad. It's actually bad now, but at that time, hospitals were not overrun. Oh, and they, I, I, they don't, being overused. I don't know if that CBS thing is true. Um, that, so, was, that, was, that was Project Veritas. It was, it yeah, was proven. Yeah, and I, Project Veritas doesn't have a very good track record of like... They, they have a great track record. What they, are you talking they, about? They do have a great track record. They, 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 they really don't. But that's they force the track they, they just had an, an, really one more cool. journalist who has a fifth retraction. They have an entire uh, wall of shame, of shame for these people. They, they, yeah, they have a huge those, record. Those retractions are usually like very minuscule details no. that it was uh, more yeah. like an editing error Boys, than anything mind else. if I interject? I just want to say, uh, sorry I came into the chat late. Sorry, Drone. I didn't know this was chat was going on. I told you Bossy. to tell me, man. What's up, man? I told you to tell me if shit like this was popping off. <laughs> I just decided, like, literally, like, these days, it's just like a pass for the moment. Hey, man, it's all about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Also, let me know what you think in the comments.